Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Ijoma and welcome to So It's Ijoma's tutorial. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make this trendy detail. It is more like a structured detail. It is a petal detail. So I saw this dress on Instagram and someone also told me that she has been struggling with it and I decided to share with you guys how to make it. So I used a doll face fabric the thickest gum we call it peplum gum you can also use a color gum to achieve this then i added a little stone to it and i hope it is beautiful so guys i use just half yard of doll face to achieve this here is the thickest gum or the peplum gum some people call it peplum gum some call it thickest gum you can also use a color gum to achieve it and this is also the doll face that i'll be using for this tutorial i have just half yard here first of all i will open up my interface or my gum and i'll go ahead and place my fabric on it if you want to make this easier just laminate everything like add your gum to your fabric first of all before cutting i don't know if you understand because after cutting the small small pieces it may be very hard for you to laminate and it may make your fabric dirty so before you start cutting laminate then after that i'll go ahead and draw the shape of the petal that i want to cut you can see the shape that i am drawing right now after marking out this shape i felt that it is too small so i went ahead to make it bigger then after marking i will measure and tell you guys the measurement that i used i am trying to make this bigger because i will still take out half an inch seam allowance around this petal so that after taking out the half an inch seam allowance it will not be too small after marking out i measured it and i have seven inches for the length and four inches for the width so the length the size is seven by four then after that i'll go ahead and cut out this is the sample that I will use to cut out the rest of the petals you can see how I am cutting it the first one that I cut did not have a pointy end but this second one that I cut has a pointy end and that is how I'm going to cut out all of them I used eight pieces of petals for the ones for the one you saw at the beginning of the video so that means you will cut out 18 pieces if you are using eight sorry if you are using eight pieces you will cut out 16 pieces because you will use this doll face as the lining too after merging them you will have eight pieces you can see i am merging them to two i am pairing all of them and i have eight pieces right now the next thing that i'll do is to use half an inch to turn all of them now i am done turning all of them i'm done running a stitch around all of them i will go ahead and reduce the seam allowance the essence of reducing this seam allowance is so that when you turn it out and iron it will be very flat if your seam allowance is big like if your seam allowance is up to half an inch it may not give you that flat look that you want that's why i reduced all my seam allowance after reducing the seam allowance, I will now choose the side that I want to cut open. I will open up one side so that I can turn out from there. I am done opening. You can see, do not open too much. Just open a space that will be enough for you to turn out from. After opening that space, I will go ahead and turn this out. And this is the hard part. This is the hard part. I will not lie to you. Because of the type of interface we used or the type of gun we used it is very very hard so if you are turning out you can make use of your scissors use your scissors to push out and please ensure to put out to push out that pointy part those pointy areas are very very important they added a a very nice shape to this petal so you can see how i'm pushing out all the pointy areas use your scissors the scissors will be very very helpful this is the first one this is the fourth one first one and this is the second one that is how i'm going to turn all of them out after turning all of them this is what i have the next thing is to iron iron properly i used a seam iron and if your fabric is a bright colored fabric you can place another fabric on it to avoid stains from your iron but 
iron very very well ironing will help you to get that flat shape you want and due to the type of gum i used these petals are very very strong like as you are ironing them they are very very firm please do not use the normal hard gum it will not give you what you want at the end of the day i'll go ahead and fold in this is how you achieve the shape just fold and then run a small stitch at the back a very small stitch the allowance should not be much fold and run a small stitch fold and run a small stitch the stitch should not cross the center of this petal like it should not extend to the upper part of this petal so right i'm on my sewing machine and you guys will see how i ran my stitch you can see that the allowance i'm sewing on is very very small and it did not reach the center of the petal this is where i stopped i did not reach the center of the petal here is what it looks like. You can see my stitch. It is very, very small. That, that was how I stitched all of them at the back. And you can see the shape of the petal changed. It has a deep area at the center. So that is how you are going to run your stitch, a, a stitch at the back of all your petals. And you can see it has changed the shape of all of them. They are very beautiful right now. But this is not the end. We are going to add little stones using the glue gun. I want to use my glue gun. I will add just little petals or little designs at the center you are free to choose the type you want to use just go ahead and add little little designs or little little stones at the center and you can see what you have right here so if you want to fix it on your fabric first on your dress first of all pin everything down pin down before you tack with your needle and thread the needle your needle and thread is the best do not stitch on it use a needle and thread so this is what i have and i'll go ahead and fix it on this wrapper that i wrapped on my mannequin i just wanted to use it to check out how it looks and you can see it is very beautiful due to that stitch i ran at the back the petals are not flat you can see that they are not flat they are standing so just go ahead and pin down after pinning you can now go ahead and stitch with your needle and thread and i hope this is beautiful guys it is easy very very easy and beautiful i also want, also want to remind you guys that our registration for our december online classes is ongoing we have trouser blazer Ibo blouse, corset, jumpsuit. So just chat me up at so with Ijama on Instagram. So with Ijama on Instagram. You can also follow me on Instagram for short tutorials. I hope this is helpful. Thank you guys so much and see you all in my next video. Bye.